Now today we will hear from lay ministries, lay ministers from our, within our parish. These ministers will exemplify what Jesus was explaining to the crowds in today's gospel. And today we thank Tony, Tony who will come up and talk about the ministries within the church. Thank you, Father. Good morning. My name is Tony Miranda, and I have been a parishioner here at Sacred Heart since 2017. I'm pleased to be speaking to you during this first weekend of our Catholic ministry appeal, and specifically how the ministries I'm a part of support the missions of Catholic charities in marriage and family life. During my time at Sacred Heart, I've had the opportunity to volunteer with a couple different ministries. The first is the Hands of Hope Outreach Ministry, which serves a home-cooked meal and provides clothing and toiletries to the homeless in our area every Saturday during lunch. The volunteers feel a special bond with those we serve, knowing that we have brought to them at least a little comfort for that one to two hours that we're in fellowship with them on Saturdays. Additionally, I've been with the Knights of Columbus since 2005 and am the financial secretary of our local chapter here at Sacred Heart. Our council supports many different outreach and family life programs in our parish. To name a few, we provide some of the Catholic faith-based materials in the back of the church to support you and your families. We help purchase Bibles and set up temporary housing for the Tampa Hope Homeless Shelter during the pandemic. We support different food for family programs throughout the year, and we conduct an annual Walk for Life and Nine Day Novena to support local pregnancy centers. These are just a few of the programs that the Knights have supported over the years. Ultimately, this is how I try to live my faith in action, following Christ's call to help one another, and in particular, those with the least among us. In today's gospel, Luke recounts Jesus' response to being asked by the growing crowds what it takes to be his disciple. His, con his conditions sound sharp, but detail the commitment level necessary to carry out the role. I see parishioners here at Sacred Heart and around our diocese exemplifying that commitment every day. From our dedication to developing families seeking marriage and baptism, to our connections with Catholic charities, via our giving from the heart donation drives or our partnership with the Tampa Hope Homeless Shelter. That commitment to discipleship is directly supported by your gifts to the Catholic Ministry Appeal. The Catholic Ministry Appeal is how we as a larger church community band together to nurture spiritual life, embrace God's call to serve, and accompany missionary disciples. As we have said before, this appeal allows for direct support to ministries with pledges and gifts being at the express discretion of us, the parishioners of Sacred Heart. For the past 20 years, I have been able to contribute to the Bishop's Appeal, either through CMA or one of his previous programs, and find it to be another way I can follow God's exhortation to help those in our community who are most in need. I encourage you to prayerfully consider a gift to this year's appeal. With your participation, regardless of your amount, we can make a real difference in our Catholic community. Thank you for your time this morning. Thank you, Tony. And as you know, our, the Diocesan Catholic Ministry Appeal allows us to directly support the ministries that matter most. At this time, or before you leave Mass today, we invite you to scan the QR code at the top of the resource guides within the pews and vote on which of these two ministries you, we, you will support through our second collection next weekend. We'll let you know which ministry is selected later this week. Additional information on how to support this appeal will be found in this week's bulletin as well. So we thank you for your participation, for your attention, and for your prayers for this important uh, diocesan 
goal to, to support the ministries not only here but throughout our diocese.